uh, we are very happy to announce uh, that the first uh, uh, AI based leadless pacemaker is implanted for an 84 year old lady uh, at Indiana Hospital Mandalu. A team uh, led by uh, Dr. Manish Rai, myself, and other team of doctors and uh, excellent staff and uh, uh, technicians. And uh, this uh, patient who is sitting near to us, she's come with a heart failure. And this is a, a first uh, very useful technology for very elderly people as well as kidney failure patients as well as those who are getting the kidney function. This type of patient, there is no wire connected directly branding, yet a very very small uh, pacemaker inside the heart. Very successfully done on the second day onwards, she started walking around. And today she is about to discharge. And the uh, patient's son is because he is also uh, very happy with the, this new device technology. And she is completely free of heart failure symptoms now. She is able to walk on the corridor. Today morning she was walking on the corridor. I think uh, by this, once again, uh, Indiana Hospital proved that we are far ahead of any technology at the Pasup Tarnadaga and were and as well as the North Malabar region. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Manu Strais. So today we're going to talk about a needless pacemaker implanted uh, for a, a very sweet 84 year old lady with uh, atrial fibrillation and erratic heart rate who was having uh, recurrent heart failure. So we, we did an ablate in pace strategy where we put a leadless pacemaker and block the AV node to regularize the heart rate. So now leadless pacemakers are one of the latest uh, developments in, uh, in pacing. So these are small capsule sized devices which are placed directly inside the heart. Unlike a conventional pacemaker where when we put the device beneath the collar bone on the right or left side and which is connected to the heart via wires, one or two wires, Heedless pacemakers are implanted directly inside the heart, so there are no devices near the collarbone. So the biggest advantage of heedless pacemakers is in the elderly. It is extremely comfortable for the elderly. The post-operative problems is associated with a conventional pacemaker like pain, uh, infection, and uh, you know the displacement of leaves are generally not seen with a heedless pacemaker. So you know they are extremely comfortable for the elderly, like in this uh, elderly lady with 84 years. We implanted the later needless pacemaker, and the next next day she was up and about, and uh, she seems pretty nothing with the uh, device. So they are a boon for uh, for elderly patients who require pacing and who don't want to go through the perioperative pain and infection and the other other problems generally associated with a conventional pacemaker. And those what uh, Dr. Yusuf Kumle and uh, Dr. Manish Pai said about uh, the leadless uh, pacemaker that uh, that has been implanted in my mother. Uh, she has been up and about. She was droopy all along. She was breathless. And in fact, when I went to Dr. Manish Rai, I was telling her that when she feels breathless, I feel helpless. What can I do? And he said, there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, and then he suggested, I mean, there were two long courses open to us. One was uh, a cocktail of uh, medicines and drugs, which was given to her a cocktail of 12 medicines, including for uh, borderline diabetes and for COPD, which she is suffering from. But we found that that was not going to be a lasting solution, a permanent solution. We were going to have this uncertainty and this anxiety. And that is why he suggested that we uh, disable the heart's natural pacemaker and in its place install an artificial pacemaker. Now the choice was between having a, a pacemaker with leads and a pacemaker without leads. And as Dr. Banishta has very and nicely explain why he had implanted this uh, leadless uh, uh, face maker in her heart. On the very second day, she's been up and about, she was droopy, she was uh, almost lifeless, and now she is uh, so full of stress. I can see the zest in her, uh, her face. So we are very thankful to Dr. Manish Tai, to Dr. Yusuf Kumble, to Dr. Praveen Sri Kumar, who did the implantation, to Dr. Gary the Valerian Fais, Dr. Latat and also the nurses here and administrative staff who have uh, ensured an uh, almost seamless experience uh, for us.
ಮಂಗಳೂರಿನ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸಾರ್ಹ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆ ಇಂಡಿಯಾನ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಪಂಪ್ವೆಲ್ ಮಂಗಳೂರು ಫಾರ್ ಬುಕಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಜೀರೋ